Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about my traveler's notebooks. These are two notebooks that I have been playing around with for the past week or so. Now we are still very much in One Book July and I am still using my six ring binder with the HB90 planner system inserts. And I'm still, you know, getting through that. I do like it. And I did give you guys an update in my last video, or maybe a couple videos back. I'll try and link it at the end of this video in case you're curious or in case you haven't seen it. But in today's video, it's all about my traveler's notebooks. Now, I have been getting really excited about getting back into a standard size notebook. Part of that is because I've been watching Monique from A Risen You on Instagram. I will link her Instagram down below and her channel because she recently moved back into the standard size TN and so I <laughs> wanted to move back into a standard size TN just because I saw how beautiful her setup was. So let's go ahead and take a look inside both of these. Now um, this one is a brand new traveler's notebook. I just got this. This is a Webster's Pages. I just got it in an order that I shared in a, another video a couple videos back. So I'm really loving it. And uh, I will go ahead and show you guys the details. Oops. Sorry. So you can see what I'm working with. Okay. So this is a standard size Webster's Pages Traveler's Notebook. And I think the color of it is the blush. This is a faux leather, but it's very, very soft, really well made, and I'm really, really liking it. And I just, I can't say enough good things about Webster's Pages. You know, I have found so many good quality non-leather traveler's notebooks that, uh, you know, you really don't need to spend a lot of money. Now, I used to be a TN snob a few years back and I only wanted a leather traveler's notebooks because back then the quality just was not there in the non-leather styles but now I have to say um, if you are on a budget uh, check out Webster's pages I know Carpe Diem makes one uh, there's quite a few so you know you don't have to spend a ton of money to have fun be organized and have cute stuff. But anyway, okay, I digress. So, like I said, this is a standard size Webster's Pages Traveler's Notebooks. I kind of started decorating the pockets here. I didn't really do too much. I just have a picture of my little one, my initial here. There's nothing in this pocket. And then I have some of these Target dollar spot uh, sticky pockets in here because I was planning to use them but then I just never got around to it and then I've got an ollie clip up here. Now I do want to talk about these inserts. These inserts are not standard size. These are more like a wide size insert and the brand in, of the insert is called Miro Utility Series. It's a dot grid and I don't even know if they make these anymore. I've had these for so long. Oops. But I was just using what was in my stash. But I wanted to clarify that the inserts I'm using are not standard size inserts. They're a little bit wider. And I'll do a comparison when we look in my other TN uh, in a bit. So what I did is I went and I covered all of the inserts because they just have a plain pink cover. So what I did is I covered all of the inserts with this gorgeous scrapbook paper that I got from a paper pad from Michael's. And I think I shared that on Instagram. But I had so much fun covering these inserts. And I used the Sarah Martinez method of covering my inserts. The way she does it is she doesn't just cut, cut the paper down to the size of the insert. She actually folds it over so, you know, your edges don't curl up. And I love it because it makes the inserts just so much more durable and you know you have no issue with it being the correct size so that's what I did I have four inserts in here and you can see the beautiful paper I mean I just love it I just absolutely love it 
And I know it doesn't totally match the cover, but it matches enough for me. And then I have a uh, zip pocket with some pretty paper in here. And then this is the last insert and I covered it and then, you know, just had some fun playing around with it. And then this is the back of the zip pocket, back pocket here. I don't have anything in there. So, the way I've been using this, I was, like I said, inspired by Monique. Now, she has a system where she does a brain dump every day. And I said, you know what, I really should get on board with that because my mind is constantly going and I'm constantly trying to remember, oh, what do I need to do? And a lot of stuff is really random. So what I did, and I just started doing this uh, Thursday, July 16th, and what I do is I just list everything that comes, that comes to mind. I just, you know, stuff that I need to do, stuff I need to think about, stuff I need to remember, whatever. And I do that for each day. I give myself a page a day. Now, sometimes I don't need a full page per day. And sometimes I, you know, carry over. Like, I didn't think I was going to need more for Saturday, but I obviously did. And I just, you know, I'm just having fun. There's no structure. There's no limitations on space. If it takes me a full day, you know, for something, I use a full day. And if not it doesn't and I'm just really really liking it because I can be creative I can use up my stickers and use up my washi tape and I'm using these inserts that have just been laying around in my stash for years no exaggeration so that's what this first insert is about this is basically like my running to-do list maybe it could be called a master task list maybe it could be called a brain dump list whatever uh, that's how I'm using that one now the next insert is going to be my goals insert because I just set this up. I haven't written my goals in here because I'm still kind of trying to figure that out. You know, if I'm being completely transparent, but I am having fun decorating the pages. So I just kind of played with the scrapbook paper, threw some stickers in there. And because I'm trying to use up my stickers, I kind of just spell this out. The goal is to have fun. Remember, the goal is to have fun. And I think I'm going to write my goals in here. And as they, as time goes on, as they change, as things get accomplished, I will rewrite my goals. Maybe not. Uh, but that's the plan for that insert. This next insert, look how pretty. Again, I'm having fun decorating with the paper and stuff. Uh, this is my creative content ideas. So I just want to put some ideas of what I want to do videos and blog posts about uh, in here. And also track my, <clears throat> track my posts because I still cannot find a social media content planner that works for me. And I think I'm just going to have to create my own because I have... Uh, three, four Instagram accounts that I'm working with, you know, some are mine, some are clients. I have uh, three blogs that I'm contributing to. I have three social media pages that I manage and that I'm in, in charge of the content for. And some are personal and some are, are clients. Some are, you know, people that are paying me to manage and run their social media. So I need, I need space to kind of write all that down and I like I said I have not found a content planner that can accommodate that because usually most content planners give you room for one Facebook page one Instagram page one blog one you know YouTube channel and I have multiples that I am managing on the day to day sometimes I pay more attention to the other ones than my own and so my content gets neglected or I'm just, you know, if I've been doing someone else's, you know, Instagram all day, the last thing I want to do is post to my own Instagram page. But anyway, so that's what that's going to be. This last one is just going to be notes. Now I'm taking a couple of online classes. So I am writing down my notes for the classes I take in here. Now I just set this up last week. So that's why a lot of these inserts are blank. 
and there's not a whole lot going on in them but I'm really liking it so far I love love this TN it was only nine dollars in the Webster's Pages sale because they had a huge sale for the 4th of July and I took advantage of it and I bought I think I have three so I have this one a champagne one and then I also have a gold like glittery one so that is that now this one is set up but I have not used it yet and I'm thinking I might use this as we move into August so this is a black traveler's notebook by mystics little gifts I no longer recommend or support that shop but I know I will get questions about this you know traveler's notebook cover and I debated about whether or not I wanted to keep it since I'm no longer supporting the shop and I no longer recommend it but you know what I have it I'm gonna see how I feel and if I can't get past the fact that, <laughs> that I don't support the shop anymore I may get rid of it but right now I'm kind of in that in-between stage of trying to figure out what I want to do but anyway so this one has been set up as well and again I used some more of that paper from that gorgeous paper pack that I used oops in the last uh, TN setup that I just showed you but I just used different you know pages from it so this one this was a Michaels insert again I covered the cover with the paper and I wanted to point out that these are the standard size inserts and you can see that the ones in here are a little bit wider this is more like a wide moleskin size and then this is a true standard TN size so I just wanted to clarify that for reference so this is a Michaels insert I covered the paper with scrapbook paper this one is the monthly layout and then you get two weeks on two pages so again none of these inserts have been used I was just setting this this up to see how I would like it and if I wanted to use it in August so I just wanted to get a feel for it so that's the first insert this next insert again uh, I covered it with paper with uh, the scrapbook paper from Michaels and this is a Midori insert that again I've had this for years just sitting in a box and this one is the daily insert so it's got like graph paper and then it has one two here and you get a, a day per page and there's nothing on it it's blank you can do whatever you want so this would definitely fit with the brain dump style that I'm kinda of doing in the other TN which I may do in here you know just so I could use this insert and you get one for every day and you get two months so here is one all the way to 31 and then it starts again one and then it goes to 31 here in the back so you get two months of daily pages in this insert then I have a dashboard this is a foxy fix dashboard I just put some more of that pretty paper in there and then this is another Michaels insert that I covered with that pretty paper and this is just a dot grid and it's blank white paper and this is the back of the dashboard which is not I don't have anything in it yet because I'm not sure how I'm going to use this then I have another insert that I covered with pretty paper and this is also a Michaels standard size insert and again this is dot grid paper because I always have to have a notes just a plain random notes insert in all of my travelers notebooks so uh, then I have a zip pouch in here and this one is just blank paper it's not dot grid it's just plain blank and I don't know what I'm gonna use this particular insert for I may use it for notes I may use it for uh, my son because we're gonna be doing distance learning this year and I need to keep track of all of his stuff so uh, that's probably what I'll use one of these notebooks for and then this is the back of the zipper pouch and then you have another back pocket here so 
that's kind of what I am working with and trying to decide what I want to do as far as my traveler's notebooks. Now I always have a traveler's notebooks. Uh, I guess you can say this is kind of my everyday carry right now even though I'm not going anywhere and I'm not carrying it every day. Uh, this has been kind of like the, I guess I want to say companion to my A5 notebook here which I've shared with you that I'm using for One Book July. This has my HB90 system in it and it's going really really well and I do really like it however I'm not sure if I'm going to continue using this as we move into August. I'm really liking the portability and the flexibility of the traveler's notebooks but I could continue on using the HB90 and the A5 binder just to uh, you know, just kind of be a little bit more structured, but I don't know yet. I haven't made quite made a decision. But anyway, so that's where I'm at with my traveler's notebooks. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything, go ahead and drop them down in the comment section below. And if you are not subscribed, please make sure you do so because I do have a lot more videos to come. And I think that is it. All right, everyone, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I will definitely see you in the next video. Bye.